The first game guys is Newport versus Portsmouth in the Cup. We had a bit of a tech issue which lost us our league game, which is a bit of a bummer, which but we drew though, so but we get the first clear cut chance guys and it came through to Akpom who drilled it in for one 0 absolutely delighted and he even does a little finger poke that I've like to use just now for certain things. But as always guys if we can smash twenty plus likes would be awesome man for more as a bonus. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. One K subs is what we now have so it's amazing. This was a good bit of an attack here. This was like a f very sm few pass attack and it worked like a treat. And it was one of these games where we were really working quite hard and from what became like a free pass attack, got the ball up the pitch, Westcar bangs it in with the power, the goalie couldn't keep out and I thought from three passes up to the pit, up there, goes out for a throw in and we whip it in for two, I was delighted. And we got a chance right to death here and I thought this is three not I actually thought that was in at first, but as you can see it's a mile wide. So we've won two 0 guys against Newport away from home in the Cap at One Cup, which is great for um Portsmouth. Makes a big difference guys. And also if you could please follow on Twitter it'd be awesome. So like I said guys, one K subs I just like to thank you again for that. And as you can see Capital One Cup stuff in the background. As you can see we've got our loan offer accepted for Clifford uh, Bogai, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Granada, um, young 19 year old talent. Now the biggest question is, do we get him? Because £4,000 a week is a lot of money, but he's very, very talented. The um, reason I know this is because I use him in Ultimate Team and in terms of his career mode I would imagine he's going to be worth it. And he'll fit perfectly in this team and we get a um, an offer from Exeter for Adam Webster, who is not part of our squad um, in the future, and we've decided to get rid of him, so that's got us a bit of money. So we're now going to a 4-3-3, guys, due to the team that we have. Um, so we're going with Abagoyai, Zellalem, and McGregor in cent centre midfield, um, left wing being Bartram, Web uh, Wallace, and then Akpom up front being the focal point. But I think 4 3 will work with this team. We get, it was such a crap game guys, it was so painful to watch. Um, first attack came for pretty much us in the 70th minute which just went wide but we started to liven up from that attack. We got the ball back pretty much soon after and Bartram in at the near post banged it in for 1-0, absolutely delighted. And I bumped it back up to world class because then um, the Newport game I did on professional and I thought let's go to world class, see how we do. So like I said guys in the comments below suggest should I do it in professional or world class. That is the question I would like to, for you guys to answer me today. And as you can see Exeter fans, um, Exeter players are dejected, not happy with them conceding s what was pretty much a scrappy game to be honest. It was very few attacks Then we got a shot right at the 90th minute there. Which showed a very, very good set of peace taker. He's got like 77 free kick accuracy and sadly just too close to the far post. But we've got 1 0 win, guys, that's now bunged us up to four points after two games, so I'm delighted with that. And as you can see, there's very few shots overall in the game. But um, lots of. If you, anyway, if you want to see any of the highlights, there, the scores there, then they're there for you to check. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and see you all soon.